Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Rising Singles. I changed the team up just a slight bit, and by slight bit, I mean 5 out of the 6. I really like Star Actor in Singles. I really, really like it. Um, I actually finally changed it around. It does now have no protect for Choice Scarf, and instead it has Final Gambit. And I've always liked Final Gambit on, Gambit on Star Raptor. What the heck am I saying? But, um, I think there's a specific EV spread to use. I'm right now using 252 attack and speed, Jolly, I think, or maybe Adamant, I don't remember. It will. So my opponent's gonna be bringing, uh, Kangaskhan, Superior. Superior's probably gonna be contrary, I'm gonna be quite honest with you. So I'm gonna probably wanna take it out pretty quickly. Um, I'm gonna start off with Greninja- oh wait, I didn't finish saying. Chandelure, Clefable, Zapdos, and of course... Gyarados. So I'm going to start off with Greninja. I'm going to bring Staraptor. And um, you know what? I want to bring... Is this... What does this Aegislash have? It has Shadow Ball, Sacred Sword, Shadow Snake, and King Shield. Um, hmm. I think the next one I'd want to bring would be Gengar. Yeah, Gengar is going to be cool. It's mega. I didn't check its moveset though, so its moveset could be kind of bad. <laughs> I just realized I should really check the movesets before I start, start doing this because I just kind of took randomly from my box and I just realized that this Gengar might not have a good moveset. Oh, uh, goodness. Um, I, I know the other ones do. Uh, the Aegislash is a shiny one that I got from Moody Pones and it's really cool, uh, but it's physical with a Shadow Ball. So I think I might want to switch that around and give it Iron Head. Um, because if we're gonna go physical route, we might as well go physical route, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's got like Shadow Sneak. I don't really like Shadow Sneak on Age of Slash. It's not really that strong, to be quite honest with you. It doesn't really do very much, so I might replace that with Shadow Claw. Um, but yeah. So it's gonna be the Zapdos, which is good for me because I led with my Greninja. So unless this thing is Choice Scarf, I'm gonna outspeed it and hit it with an Ice Beam to the face. This Greninja runs Scald, which is a little odd. Um, biggest fan of it running Scald. Really want to give it Hydro Pump, but back when I was running Greninja, I I don't know. I didn't really like. Oh, okay. So you're gonna go for Thunder Wave, which means you're probably gonna roost it up. Uh, which means I'm gonna go for Dark Pulse instead. Which... Does that make sense? Eighty compared to 90, uh, compared to 80, compared to 70. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna go for Ice Beam instead. It's my strongest move right now. He is gonna go for Roost like I thought he would. Um, he might keep going, he might continuously go for this Roost. Um, although, I know it's not super effective anymore, but it should still do some good damage. Not good damage at all. Um... You can play this game all day long. Uh, his roost seems to be out healing whatever I have, so you know what? Screw it. Going for U-turn. Yeah, he's gonna go for roost again, which is good for me, because this way I can kind of like keep my Greninja alive. Mega evolve with my Gengar. Go for that really sweet um, Shadow Ball, which should take it out or something. Yeah, I'd say a Shadow Ball would take it out. Uh, hoping I have it. I don't know if I have it. I'm sure I have it. Shadow Ball. But let's go into Gengar. I almost clicked Star after, and I was like, that's so stupid. Why would I do that? Alright, so Gengar's in here. I'm going to Mega Evolve. I'm going to go for Shadow Ball. I have Focus Blast, which is interesting enough. Um, so hopefully we destroy the Zapdos with a Shadow Ball. We are pretty strong as a Mega Gengar. I like Mega Gengar. I don't care if it's banned or not. I really like it. And plus, we're playing Battle Spot, so I can get away with using a Mega Gengar. Out of all the banned Megas, I like Mega Gengar the best. It's so cool. And that's partly due to the reason that Gengar is my second favorite Pokemon, so... That does contribute to that. Now, I don't know what this Gyarados really intends to do against us, so I'm just gonna go for another Shadow Ball. 
He might Mega Evolve, which he will, which is fantastic for us if... Oh, wait, they don't get Dark Stab, which is funny. They are Dark type, but they don't get anything worthwhile using for a Dark. However, he does get Earthquake, so I'm sure we're about to see an Earthquake to our faces. Um, I predicted the Mega... Oh, he's going to go for Dragon Dance instead. I predicted the Mega as I click Shadow Ball. I do carry Focus Blast, like I said. I do carry Dazzling Gleam, but I'd rather risk the Focus Blast, especially if we're going to outspeed anyway. So I do get that outspeed, and I do get that Focus Blast off. I think he'll survive. Oh, 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 goodness. I thought, okay, well, I take that back. I didn't think he would survive. I knew he would die, and I was just playing with you guys. So in comes the Chandelier, who's most likely going to be um, Choice Scarf, but... I do have my Star Raptor in the back, so I don't really care. Gengar cleaning it up. I can see why this thing is banned. Um, one hit, one shot. Oh my lord, I haven't used a Mega Gengar in ages. I once actually um, battled one of my friends. You know, he, he used a legendary in our battle. And I was just like, using legendary? What do you do? You know, and by legendary, I mean Ubers. Um, I was like, what, what are you doing, man? I taught you better than this. And so, in order to shame him, I used Mega Gengar, and only Mega Gengar. And, um, I got close to beating him. Uh, I, I definitely took a beating, but I was very, very close to actually winning. I think it ended up being a 1-0, and I came back from, with just a simple Mega Gengar, I just got most of his team, and then I think it was Evatel that came in, and kind of stopped me in my tracks, because Dazzling Gleam wasn't enough to KO it, and yet I think Oblivion Wing is, is dark type, and it used Oblivion Wing, and of course it took me out, because um, I had taken some damage beforehand, but it was kind of funny, it was kind of funny, and I, I knew at that point that Mega Gengar was very powerful. Another really funny thing that I've done before was, uh, before Mega Kangaskhan was banned, uh, I held a tournament, and... <laughs> it's funny to say this now. I put it in, in a baton pass chain sort of thing. Not really, um... It wasn't a chain, it was just a Scolipede. So I got it up to plus four with Scolipede and, you know, plus two, I want to say, or three in speed. And, of course, that was game over right there. I, we all know how powerful Mega Kangaskhan is without boosts. Um, so my opponent's going to be bringing Dragonite, uh, Gengar, um, Kangaskhan... Uh, what's this thing? Heliolisk? Of course I know it's Heliolisk. Scizor and Miltank. Um, looking at these teams, I probably want to start off with Greninja again. Nah, you know what? Greninja doesn't have the greatest matchup here. Um, I kind of want to start off with Staraptor. I like the Staraptor lead. Um, I'm going to bring... <sighs> Gengar. Gengar's going to be pretty good. <laughs> Um, I need something for that mill tank. I'm gonna bring a zoom rail. A zoom rail is gonna be kind of cool. But yeah, you know, I, I made some weird team. Well, they're not weird. I mean, the Tom passing swords dance and speed boosts too. Mega Kangaskhan is a killer strategy. Literally, it just destroys everything. But yeah, I don't know. It was a very interesting team. I wouldn't say it was good. It was interesting. I think that's actually. Not that specific battle, but I think that team is literally the first battle on this channel. Is I used a um, singles team. Yeah, I, th I think that is because I didn't start uh, doubles until maybe a, maybe I don't even know. I think mid February, late February, and I started the chat. The first video is like January twenty first. So yeah, I haven't been, been doing doubles for that long. I, I catch on to things quickly. But, um, I still could use some work. I could still use some work. So, Gengar in. I don't really care. I'm going to go for Brave Bird, as you may have remembered from my last video. I did say that this specific Star Raptor was meant on my team to counter Gengar because I needed it. I don't know why, but I needed it for something, and of course I used it. This one is, of course, Focus Sash, but the good thing about it is I can take any one attack from him. Uh, except for Icy Wind. I can take that, but it's going to slow me down. That crit. That was not a crit. Wow. 
I'm surprised this thing isn't, uh... Oh, why did I do that? Oh, why did I do that? I wanted to save it for Kangaskhan. I wanted to take out a Kangaskhan with Final Gambit. Damn it. Oh, well. I brought a Zoomeril. <laughs> There's a reason I brought a Zoomeril. Priority. Go get him, Zoomeril! Oh my god, there goes my stylus. Hello? Oh, good. Oh, there it is. Hello. Um, should I go for Aqua Jet as I try and grab this? Should I go for Aqua Jet or should I not? I mean, that's pretty obvious. Uh, I do have Belly Drum. Yeah, I can't risk it because he does carry the super effective. And he is, of course, going to stand. So I really couldn't risk that. Just in case. Just in case. Let's see what my opponent brings in, though. Because it could be, uh, pretty telling. Uh, <laughs> Kangaskhan. Oh, I'm wrong! Okay, well, I'm still gonna go for Play Rough against you. Or can I go for Belly Drum? Text... F text... Text 1 for Belly Drum. Text 2 for Play Rough. Text 3 for Waterfall. Text... 4! <laughs> for Aqua Jet. Um... Oh, I don't know. I could go for Belly Drum, because, you know, it's a milk tank. I don't know if they really do that much damage, but I don't really want to risk it. <sighs> what do I have in the back? I have Gengar in the back. Yeah, I'm going to go for Play Rough. It can't hurt. The worst thing that can happen is I get Thunder Waved. Should have gone for Belly Drum. Actually, you know what? No, because then there's a chance I, you know, get paralyzed and can't move. And, you know, now I have... literally nothing oh my god um well i'm gonna go for it again because this thing's probably scrappy milk drink woohoo yeah that that means i'm gonna go for belly drum and probably kill myself oh you avoided sweet i've never been more happy for this i was gonna go for stomp of course you can go for stomp the turn i choose oh it doesn't even matter oh my lord that did not even matter Okay, so now I'm at plus six. Um, I don't know if a stomp can kill me. Uh, with the citrus berry, it won't kill me. The only thing about that is paralysis. I'm going to go for play rough. No. Oh, that's too late. I was going to say I should go for waterfall so it doesn't miss. But, um, yeah, I am going to get flinched. So I'm going to go for aqua jet now. Unfortunately, um, I'm surprised I haven't gotten paralyzed yet. You know, now I say it, of course, I'm going to die to it. We get a crit, which is funny. Um, miss your stomp, miss it, miss it, miss it. And of course he doesn't miss it, so that is fine by me. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is bring in my Gengar, because Gengar, of course, is the greatest janitor. He's the custodian of horror. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to go for Sludge Bomb. Pretty simple move just to go for because I can't go for Stab because he's a normal type. Um, but yeah, yes, yes, yes. He goes for the Sludge Bomb and that should kill from this range. And it does. So barring a Kangaskhan. Oh, Kangaskhan probably can't kill me. I don't think it can. We'll find out. I might go for return and not Mega Evolve, but I'm gonna go for the Focus Blast. I don't know what Gengars normally run, but he is gonna Mega Evolve, so he has to, has to, has to go for that Dark move. Whether that's gonna be um, Crunch or Sucker Punch. Um, I'm thinking he's going for Crunch because he didn't use Sucker Punch. Uh, Focus Blast is gonna go off. Does it kill? Does it kill? It does not kill. Very close. Ice Punch. I have never seen an Ice Punch on a Kangaskhan. Oh, we get Frozen. Beautiful. Be beautiful. We would have won had we not gotten Frozen, but hey, no, ne no need to complain because uh, we did win that first game. So He does go for Sucker Punch this turn, which is odd because it would have killed me the first turn. Curious. I'm, I have never seen a Kangaskhan run Ice Punch. That is literally... Oh, you know what? It must be a move tutor move. There you go. All right. Well, that's Rising Singles, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys at the next video.
Peace.